the following. So we're we have an educational message at the end. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, I'm Cory Blaster, if you know what I mean. And this is the Cory Blaster Show, of course. And yeah, you've seen me review stuff on World Review, Money Review, and Season Review, right? Anyway, but now I'm going to do so. It's not a review show. It's the Cory Blaster Show, starring me, Cory Blaster. And let's start the show with a congratulatory message from Kirk the Jerk. Take it away, Kirk. Cory Blaster. I'm not going to congratulate your show, because you're so stupid. Why don't you go back to reviewing words and nonsensical stuff, butthead? Anyway, it's now time for a word from our sponsors. Don't touch that dial on your remote control, the Cory Blaster Show will be right back. You know... You know, this weekend, I'm going to come down to the Virgin Comedy Night. We're going to watch funny versions, tell funny jokes at the VCOM Arena. So, come on and watch a bunch of funny versions tell their jokes. Great jokes like, I haven't had sex all day, or all year, or all my life. Even if the versions aren't very funny, we can laugh at them for being virgins. So, anyway, that's Virgin Comedy Night. Next week. You trust that dial on your remote, didn't you? Well, anyway, back to the Cory Blaster Show. Well, welcome back. And, you know, once the commercial break, I feel like promoting Soap Scum. In fact, if the Cory Blaster Show doesn't get off, I do a so called Soap Scum review. There are all kinds of great soap scum, including the kind you find in the toilet, the kind you find in the bathtub, the kind you you find the washing machine. Yeah, I just love soap scum. In fact, sometimes I sleep with a bucket of soap scum every night. If you know what I mean. Now, here's a word from a brand new sponsor, Zoofy the Psychic. Take it away, Zoofy. I am Zoofy. And you know, since only two of you are watching this, I'll say that one of you two will fall off a cliff. He went over by a torpedo of meteors and then drowned to death in a glass lake. Which one of you two will be? Come on down to my warehouse to find out. I'm Zoopy. It'll cost five thousand dollars to find out. Why is it so expensive? Because my psychic powers tell me that nobody will come to pay. So the five thousand dollar fee will will cover all costs. Come on down. Are you going to congratulate me? No. Anyway, you know, I'd like to talk to you about an app that I found out. It's, see, I used to like playing Hacky Sap, but I kept getting my foot hurt doing it from Hacky Sap injuries. But now I've downloaded the Hacky Sap app, so now I can just do Hacky Sap on the app. It's fun, I guess. Instead of doing this, I just do this. Yeah, it's best. You know. If I didn't know better, I'd I, I, I say I was doing a Haggy Sack app review instead of a TV, so. But you know, I have something more important. Here is another congratulatory message from my friend Johnny Laurent. He's a foreigner, so you gotta forgive him. Hi, I'm Johnny Laurent. Congratulations, Cory Blaster, for your show. But you know, back in the old country, we also watched Cory Blaster stuff. And even though he speaks the same language as a lot of us in the old country, I still dub his voice. Yeah, I dub his voice and he's talking the same language. In fact, here's a clip sample showing how he sounds in the old country. Da 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 is that, is that an accurate portrayal? Well, I promised you an ending educational message for the end of the Curry Blaster show, so here it is. Don't put smelly socks in your mailbox. Mailmen hate smelly socks, so when it comes out, they get really sick from the smelliness, and they might stop delivering your mail. Well, I'm Corey Blaster, of course. Thanks to the friends who congratulated me, and thanks to my sponsors. And don't forget to watch the next episode of the Corey Blaster Show, whenever that is. And if there's not a next time, then I guess it's not a next time. I'll see ya.